Hey guys, welcome to another part. We are in Saint Denis. I have to get my bearings. What were we doing? We were on our way to this stranger. So it's to the left. And we just came out of the uh, theater. It's pretty cool. It were like a new shows that I haven't seen yet. Well, I was already to the theater twice before. So there's quite some content over there. And actually, this is a yellow one. So I guess it's like a main story uh, quest. But I think I will first do this stranger because these are the side stories. And personally, I do like those a bit better. How's everything with you? They are often pretty cool standalone little uh, activities so let's see there are often all also funny characters let's see what we have here yeah. i already see Why it now it will be funny time? Hello, hello, feller. Again, some inventor with some apparatus. You okay, bud? Uh, fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Uh, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. <laughs> nice. <laughs> really <laughs> weird <laughs> silence. I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <clears throat> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, something. <laughs> uh, my hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe <laughs> I can make you immortal. Arthur really looks out of place here. Using With waves, those fancy people. He in, I it, will power in his cowboy clothes. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it. I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have <laughs> magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the boat. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, 
It's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Poor birdie. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatana. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The trans migration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Pretty funny. Stupid man does? Another one down. Yeah, I'm getting the mastery of this. More than one more to prove. That was it, right? No. Ah. It didn't sink. There. All gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explode a sitting dock. Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Pog. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. <sighs> oh. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. Just graves in the air, like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but what a thing to fund! What an opportunity! No one is... Look who rules the seas! Very good, very good! Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof! Undeniably foolproof! But you are not fools. This really was the, one of the most unexpected <laughs> As I say, side fool, missions I in a Wild West you. RPG. What, what is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, 
of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Whoa. <laughs> now I'm I pretty... I you will forgive my... Pretty curious about what he has more up his sleeve. This was already quite amazing. Alright, let's go to the other stranger. Is somewhere Hello? over here. Ah, here they Excuse are. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you, Mister? Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately, so, Mister. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, at appointment with the Senator, we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his... Uh, we must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Right. I missed the first part of the introduction, so I actually have no idea anymore who that guy was that brought us here or that we met A story maybe it's here no this is only the main story right or or this one the other girls no it's uh, still not completed so it's not here yet in the progress this is the last completed mission. 
All right. Um, by the way, you do have like, I've like only bronze and silver. I hardly ever had like a gold one. And let's see the checklist. Don't get spotted, encounter the dog and the drunk. Complete within 10 minutes, 40 seconds, get four headshots. Complete with at least 90% accuracy, catch the wagon and take it to the secluded spot. Follow the servant. Fatherhood and other dreams. What the hell was that? Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, at the party, pour some drinks, compliment a guest attire, accept the gift and save a life. All right. Shoot the O'Driscolls in the boat before they disembark. Complete using only sidearms. Complete with at least 70% accuracy. Get 15 headshots. Complete the mission without taking any health items. So it are mostly accuracy issues. Catch the street urchin before he reaches the market. Complete within five minutes. Find the captives without threatening the store owner. Find the kit within 90 seconds. Yeah, so it's only this one, Encounter the Dog and the Drunk, where I apparently missed some uh, uh, NPCs, but for the rest it's mostly a time limit or accuracy uh, requirements. So I don't really mind not having uh, them golded. I would mind if I would have missed like major chunks of those missions, like uh, uh, the, uh, the story-wise or NPC-wise, but that did not seem to be the case. And this last dude, I have no idea. Th that mission will later continue. I forgot his name also, and he won't be on the map now anymore, I guess. Or is he already there? Like we were supposed to meet up somewhere. No, they first also have to get there. All right, then let's go to... Who was this again? Elgernon Wasp. Yes, let's do that one. Like a little side mission again. Where is the horse? There it is. Strolling, relaxed and easy. Let's go meet a stranger or uh, ever governor was or ever known, whatever was his name. I actually forgot already. Ever known? Elgernon. Stupid man. What a stupid name. Lost your way, countryman. Like we're all already being made fun, made fun of. Arthur, really, it, it's almost uh, feels out of place in the city environment as an outlaw slash cowboy. Who are we supposed to meet? Hello, lady. Ah, that would be cool if you could play chess in this game. I am. Bonjour. Freaking French people all, all over the place. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Check out the detail. Like lobster or crab with a little um, citrus. Or what's the English word for citron? Citron? Um, lime. Bonjour, monsieur. I guess. One sec. I will make that a, a learning moment. So that is in Dutch, it's citron. 
the tool. I think it is lime, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it is lemon. Now I'm wondering what is the difference between lemon and lime? Is that the same thing? Lime versus lemon. How lemons and limes are used? Lemons and limes are both very acidic, but have slightly different flavors and scents. Lemons have a sour acidic taste, while lime has a bitter acidic taste. All right, let's just watch the images of lime. Yeah, lime is the green one, and lemon is the yellow one, right? Yes. Pretty cool how similar they are, but indeed they taste pretty differently. All right, where is the stranger? Look out! It's pretty upper class uh, facility over here. here that them are gonna be that big house of theirs soon. With wine and and crabs. Crap. It's crab. That's like an English word, right? Like a lobster and a crab. Yes. I was thinking about crabs. I think that's also some kind of uh, disease, genital disease or something. Um, where is the stranger? Howdy, sir. Somewhere over here. I think here in the little Albert and Wasp. He has his own little house. Purveyor of the exquisite. What the hell, Ergonon? They did make some really colorful characters in this game. Like the photographer and now that inventor. And probably Elgernon Wasp himself is also pretty funny. Pretty freaky statue. Oh no, it looks female Bonjour, from this monsieur. side. But from this side it looks pretty male. But with breasts. Okay, here we go. Hello, Elgernon. One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. All right. Very cool building. Ah, he's actually a, a hairdresser. What the hell is he doing? Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. May I help you? Well, uh, I don't know. I met you. Remember? At that party? Oh, yes. You saved my life! Oh, I am eternally yours, Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, Enchanté! Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a, uh, hat? Perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that... Is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course. Too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. <clears throat> well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. 
Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Wow, this little building, it reminds me a bit of um, Bioshock. First one, the underwater city. Had like a similar design uh, language. All right, and also really cool how they roughed up, eroded these tiles a bit. Like a bit mossy. Really cool. Alright, let's get to... Not Dutch, but the other one. Hello, horsey. We need to get to... Trelawney? Josia Trelawney has been investigating the riverboat. Let's do that. Hello. Here we go. The Hafa Bakery. It's really like Paris over here. It's really weird. So many French peoples. There's a tailor. We have to hitch our horse somewhere. Ah, I can hitch here. Wasn't expecting that. I'll be back, girl. Right. Taylor, here we come. And bad weather, here it comes. Here it is, actually. Feel a bit I'm sorry shaking. for the horse, leaving it outside, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. City Hall, a fine night of debauchery. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Furnishers, milliners, neckwear and shirts. What the hell is a milliner? That's like somebody who sews clothes. Jesus Christ, a lot of English words. Is not really, no. Me, le, ner, meaning, and it is a person who makes or sells women's hats. All right. Here we go. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my yes, friend so. here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. All right, let's browse your catalog. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. A bespoke fine it was the three piece fault suits. His grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. So is this You can see the aristocrat in his only profile. thing yes? Yeah, I guess so. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Yes, that's this one. Show all your friends and family. We call the attention of fastidious consumers to this lavish man's evening suit. The centerpiece is a fancy red patterned vest with ivory Come buttons, on, dear boy. accented by shy. a red neckerchief. The evening coat is neatly tailored with a black turnout color, black worsts, 
worsted pantaloons and dress shoes complement this ensemble perfect for any dinner Shop or calling Let's upon the local the magistrate or the home of a decent. local businessman hosting a lavish garden, garden party in search for a new mistress. The workmanship and quality of material used are first rate. It becomes with our binding guarantee. We are it in comes. something of a hurry here, Arthur. With proper care, our outfits are warranted to last a lifetime. We will repair at our expense any defect or tear to articles pictured therein. Please be aware that we will not hold ourselves accountable for damages occasioned by inattentiveness, negligence, oversight, calamity, intemperance, disastrous condition or accidents. For this reason, if material is damaged due to a bullet wound, altercation with knives or a tear caused by fleeing over a barbed wire fence from an angry mother-in-law, it will be repaired at the owner's expense. Please know we are besieged with visitors to our showroom and dispense with cranks and idlers in a quiet, taciturn manner. At Wheeler and Rawson, we are in the business of being the best supply house on earth, reducing luxuries to necessities and promoting consumerism above all else. All right. But I would also like to read that part over there. God damn it. All right, from here then. Tailor made clothing. Every article of clothing is cut on the most current styles to expert tailors. You may rest assured that if you spend a few dollars on one of our suits, it will certainly compare favorably with any custom tailor work completed by a local manufacturer. They charge big prices with blushing description for poorly made goods. We employed first class cutters, dozens of men who obsessively contemplate every inseam, crevice and comfort of yours and especially your children's bodies. <laughs> who obsessively contemplate every inseam crevice and comfort of yours and especially your children's bodies. Holy shit, that's a pretty gross sentence. We realize our wear the same suit every day. Uh, we realize and require one that is superior in quality no matter if you are short, stout, tall, slim or of extra large size due to a disorder of the glands. We realize you wear the same suit every day and okay. Non our bigger our clothing department currently occupies the entire fifth floor of our warehouse. You cannot reasonably fathom the extensive scale to which our operation conducts commerce. We are certainly the largest direct-to-consumer clothing department and without exception offer the greatest value. Tell all your friends and family. It is virtually impossible for any firm to compete with us on men's suits. We only charge you the exact cost of producing the raw materials at the woolen mills and sewing it together, adding our small one percentage of profit. We do not recognize any competition whatsoever. They add an extortionate amount of profit and should hang their heads in shame. What purpose would it serve to acknowledge them in the streets or at a trade event? You do not live too far away. Even if you live 200 or 1000 miles away, we can ship to you via, via freight. We ship to outposts and haulers across this great land. To people far and wide, from the most educated of classes to those that can scarcely inscribe or spell their own name and instead sign with an X. Rules for measuring. When ordering, give your age, race, height and weight and observe the following rules. Request that measurements be taken by your sister, spouse or mother and ensure proper attention is paid to measuring from the groin, pressing tight in the crotch to the heel. To special from your growing growing that is like your where your genitals are right one moment because this is also a little learning moment for my lessons uh, for my uh, english growing is the area between the abdomen and the upper thigh on either side of the body formed by two intersecting folds Yes, so that is indeed where your genitalia resides. Measure chest sleeves to elbow and neck indicates whether you have square or sloping shoulders and if you suffer from scoliosis. 
All right, this is another one that I need to look up, sorry, but uh, it's just to, otherwise I am not understanding what I'm reading and it's not fun because it's probably a funny comment, I guess this scoliosis, probably something super gross. Um, hello, what is it? Scoliosis is a sideways curvature of the spine that occurs most often during the growth spurt just before puberty. Sideways curvature of the spine. So it's it's like you have like a bent back or something. That's weird. Never heard of that. All right. It's like your spine is in a, in a curve. There is nothing so comfortable as wearing one of our black wool suits on a summer's day. Our closely woven goods, worsted and our closely woven goods, worsted and cheviot suits very closely resemble those made by first class French tailors from France that often sell for twice as much. And indeed at a short distance, you can no better distinguish one type of cloth or garment from another and it would be absurd to spend more on a suit. All right, we read it all, super cool. Uh, let's buy it. Can I buy it? All right, the width, this outfit is suitable for hot temperatures. Can we get other ones? No, we can only buy one, no, fine. A very good choice, sir. Looks mighty fine, Arthur. Um, let's get the hell out of here. Man, it goes so quickly. We are already again Come almost on, at 40 minutes. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Barber is indeed a good idea because that's what something I was thinking Herr myself. Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. We what really is? need to have a beer job. Uh, Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win, and you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. Frames and pictures. everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields, come to lay it on thick and drunk. Mirrors all annoyance. the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off, and that is when Javier comes in. And you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure. I for sure they want might. to see this show still. Perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but... We, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Can we sit on this chair. Come on. No. Where are you going? Maybe we could, but of course the button prompt is not popping up if you're in the middle of a mission. Right. I will. Uh, end the episode here and we will continue this mission Can't in the next one because otherwise the, same the episode will become too long so guys hope to see you there and what i heard is that it's always important to keep on gaming see you later